Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually watercolouring these beautiful envelopes. I got the template from a lovely lady called Naomi. She has a website called Naomi Loves and you can actually download her, it's sort of like a, a zine um, and she basically she sells these beautiful templates that you download and then you can water art paint color in or do whatever you want and then you can create your own little envelopes now the ones i'm creating today um are a mix of her designs she's got like heaps of these i think there was like 50 pages or something ridiculous so i've just chosen my favorites to show you guys today um, but I might do a whole lot more watercolouring in the future if you enjoy this video today. So I'll put the link to Naomi Loves in the description box below if you want to go check out her. Um, her it's, it's like a little ebook sort of you can download, not, not so much a zine. Um, and then you can find all the templates in there. I just printed these out at Officeworks. I made sure that I printed them on... Um, I'm pretty sure this is A3 paper and it was one of the thicker quality papers. So this is actually quite thick. You can literally send this off in the mail and it probably won't rip. Um, the paper that I chose, because it was quite thick, it wasn't actually watercolouring paper. Um, the page did, I don't know what the right term is, like it peeled sort of. Like um, the water didn't really sit nicely on the page. But I think it still turned out quite nice. And then I sent this little package off to my sister. So I actually wanted to read out a little poem for you guys today. Because when I watercolour, I feel like it's quite therapeutic. Um, I When I make my videos, I feel like I can be quite rushed sometimes. I only film on weekends, so my weekends can be quite busy. And sometimes to make a video... I can get it quite rushed and stressed sometimes. So to make this video today, I feel like it really just made me slow down a bit, enjoy the different colors, think about how I wanted to paint. I did watch a TV series while painting, so I probably sort of should have got in my own zone um, and not had something playing at the same time because I really do think that when you create a watercolour or do the things that are a lot slower in life without having a lot of distractions, it can really give that therapeutic, um, I don't know, it's just... It just relaxes you when you're sort of in the zone only focusing on one thing. So I actually picked a poem out today. It's by June Kellum. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, written in 2005. I just found it on Google. So I'll also link it if you wanted to read it over yourself. But basically it's called Past, Present and Future. And a lot of the things that I've been noticing lately is I've been thinking about the future a lot especially because I feel like I'm a bit of a transition mode um, because my partner Dan and I are going to be moving soon so I feel like I'm only thinking into the future just consistently and I know that a lot of people can focus on either the future and what's going to happen or come up or other people can just focus a lot on the past and have that lingering around. So I think it really is important to really focus on the present and the now. And doing things like watercolouring can really help you focus in and just take that moment to focus on what you're doing there and there without a lot of distractions. So the poem's called Past, Present, Future. Our past we can't recapture. It's over and it's done. No way to recover time. All those days are gone. No amount of colouring, painting with brighter hue, can change the way things happened. No way to make it true. No use fretting over, regretting bygone days. No need to get entangled in memory's purple haze. Or caught up in the unravelling, or of hoping we could do things that didn't go the way that we would want them to. The future is uncertain, no way for us to see the things tomorrow's holding for you or for me. Now is what's attainable, 
just moments here to share. The future comes so quickly, unseen but waiting there. Seize the present moments. Grab all we can contain. Our futures are elusive. Our past we cannot chain. I think it's really powerful to think about the moments now, especially when they say that there's, it's just, it, the future, it says it comes so quickly and it's just waiting there and literally the moments that we have um, can just be lost so easily when we're distracted, especially like I was saying before, we, like any time I get into a train commuting to work, everyone is literally staring at their phones and some mornings are just so beautiful and afternoons like yesterday afternoon my partner and I um, were sitting on the couch and the entire sky was pink and all I wanted to do was go outside and just stare up at the sky for hours just to watch the sun set um, but you sort of get distracted with lots of different things these days and as I was saying, in the mornings, there's just so many beautiful sunrises and like cloud formations and just nature at its best that you just don't see. And I feel like for me, when I'm looking at nature, it really does settle me. It's something that's soothing and it's beautiful because it's forever changing. Um, so things like that, things like watercoloring and just sort of taking that moment to focus on the one thing um, and just, yeah, as I said, focusing on the now because life can happen so quickly. Even this year has gone so fast. Um, it's already March um, next week, so I can't believe how fast this year has gone. I do not even know what I did in my last two months. So, um, yeah, I'll put this poem link in the description box below if you want to go check it out yourself i do hope you enjoyed this slower video today and in the next video i'm going to be making a mini mail and i'm going to be hosting a little community challenge so i can't wait to tell you guys all about that so stay tuned for that video thanks for watching bye